just knowing that the offense has, has got some things to work out to, to set them up as well as possible. It's no pressure. It's no pressure. We all have to come together and find a way to win. Um, at the end of the day, we have to work together, offense, defense, special team, to work together um, to get a win. We have to do our job on defense. Um, like I said, affecting the quarterback, knowing what Jamal Chase at, um, because we know that's his playmaker. You know, they have other good skill guys, but at the end of the day, that's his guy, and uh, we have to be able to affect the quarterback this game. And Jeff, he gets the ball out quick. You preach time and time again, just even getting your hands up, right? Getting a pit yeah. ball, anything to make that him squirm. For sure, and I was just talking to Danico about that. You know, we might not. You know, of course, everyone look at the sacks, but it's plenty of ways to affect the quarterback. If we could get our hands up and have 10 batted balls with zero um, sacks and get a win, that's affecting the quarterback. So, um, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, um, Joe not running around a lot this um, right now because of the injury. So with him sitting in the pocket and us affecting the middle of the pocket and getting our hands up, it's going to be big this week. Yeah, I've lost a little bit. Um, you know, lost my appetite a little bit last week. So um, definitely that's part of the process of – trying to gain it back um so you know that'll come obviously it's my appetite you know keeps coming back and keep working through the weight room and my diet so like I said just kind of taking it day by day and seeing what I can handle and trying to improve every day. Coach Rayburn has said that you know you're improving as far as what you can do in the weight room and conditioning what is it that you're able to do? Yeah I mean I've, you know it's kind of changed every single day um, but obviously, you know, it starts with just some of the core work, stuff like that, um, and sort of progressing back to where I was. So in terms of what it is, you know, it kind of changes and kind of changes what I can handle, but it's definitely trending in the right direction. I did. I was at the hospital, and they it ruptured, but they caught it, basically. So um, very appreciative of everyone there who helped me out at Ascension St. Thomas. So um, they did a great job, and here I am doing fine. Given the point of the game. Um, so it's our job as DBs to be able to control that. Um, stay within the rules, stay within um, our defense, our style of play, and just um, try to make some plays, get the ball back to our offense. When you well, with get a guy like Chase, how big he is, his play strength, <laughs> yards after the catch, like how important is it for you guys to stay over top and also you know, just make sure you wrap up to, to limit that yet? Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's uh, really, really important, like you said, just to limit that because um, he's a guy that can get a ball, make a five-yard catch, going to 60-yard touchdowns. Um, and like I said, they're just – a lot of those guys can make a lot of big plays. You know, T. Higgins can make a lot of plays. Tyler Boyd is a really good, savvy player in the slot. He can make a lot of plays. Um, so just being able to just read our keys, like I said, keep them in front of us um, and really just, just play ball, man. As a physical corner, when you get an officiating crew that is calling, like you said, after the game, like maybe it's a mo more ticky-tack, it's mm -hmm. some softer stuff, they don't let you be as physical. Do you have to shift your style of play, or what is the key that you need to change to then not get penalized? Um, really just, I wouldn't say shift your style of play. I would think you just have to um, adjust on the fly, you know, adjust your hand placement, adjust um, – your eye discipline, just adjust a lot of different things so that you can play within the rules of how they're calling that day. Um, I wouldn't change up how I play. Um, I'm a physical corner. I do best at the line of scrimmage, um, and that's where I want to live, and that's where I want to be. And so um, in this league, guys are talented. If you don't get your hands on guys and you don't disrupt timing on plays, then those are easy catches and throws for them. So, um, yeah, man, you can adjust as much as you can you can as, 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 as the game goes, as the flow of the game goes. But uh, ultimately, you know, I just stay to, stay to my fundamentals and my keys. Because he just kind of touched on how, of course, the O-line, there are different personalities and, and kind of how he approaches you guys both individually and as yeah. a unit. Oh, uh, man, he does a great job, man, making sure that we definitely stay on, on, on the same page. Uh, he knows us and he, he gets us, he, you know, rouses us up and makes sure that we uh, are together. I mean, that's the main thing. We plan together, together for each other. And uh, when we go out there on Sundays and even on, through the week, man, we're making sure that he's making sure that we are on the same page and making sure that we have fun doing our job. What is the constant that you try and maintain as you have some guys in and out injuries along the line? Um, when that happens, you know, next man up, you know, um, things may occur. Injuries happen in this league, but it's, it's the, the, the ball, it keeps going, man, and we got to have guys that continue to step up and do their jobs. Thank you. And of course.